Welcome, Annie Collins here for White Rose Crafts. Today we're going to create this lovely Make a Wish card using a variety of Scrapberry products. So let's go to the products I'm using. This is the Scrapberry Stain inks. We're going to use green and blue. We have the from the Fairy Tale Collection, the Scrapberry stamp set called Make a Wish. And I went ahead and stamped and fussy cut our girl and our sentiment. sentiment. From Kaiser Crafts, we're going to use this embossing folder, which is called Wood Grain. Um, let me move it off so you can see it better on my desk. And there you can see it's got a nice, lovely wood grain. I have a 110 pound white card base. This is an A2 size card, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And an 80 pound white card panel. We'll be um, ink blending on this panel. So we're going to start our project. I'm going to start off with the ink stain in green, and this green is almost like a tealy green. Um, it has a little more blue in it than most greens, but it blends beautifully with our regular blue. So I'm going to go ahead and start a little bit heavier towards the bottom and then fade out to the top, and then I'll blend the blue over this. These ink um, stains remind me a lot of the Distress inks, not the oxides, just the plain inks. They have the same you know, water properties, so you can watercolor with these, you can do splatter, etc. Um, they blend beautifully, and they're super easy and smooth to blend. I am blending on this 80 pound paper. This is um, Accent Ultra Smooth 80 pound opaque paper. So it is smooth. You can use also um, Strathmore, uh, mm -hmm, Bristol Smooth. There you go, Strathmore Bristol Smooth to blend because it's also really smooth and it takes ink blending beautifully. So here we are adding the last of the blue. I'm going to go ahead and reapply some of the green ink, but without re-inking my blending brush, I just want to make sure it has a nice smooth transition between the green and the blue. I'm going to wipe down my desk here so I don't have any of this ink transferring onto the rest of the project, especially my card base. So now I'm going to lightly mist the back of my panel and I'm going to put this in my embossing folder and run it through my die cutting machine with on the embossing uh, settings. So you set, put yours through your embossing machine through your embossing settings. Okay, so now I'm going to remove my panel and it's a little damp, but <clears throat> excuse me, but not too much. It'll dry here in a moment. <clears throat> I'm going to bring in my a trimmer here and I'm going to trim down this panel um, <coughs> excuse me to four by five actually I'm <coughs> excuse me I'm going to be trimming it down um, not quite a quarter of an inch all the way around just shy it's bigger than an eighth all right so now I'm going to adhere this panel using some liquid adhesive I like liquid adhesive when I emboss like this because it will stick better than just any tape runner Okay, so once I get this centered on my card on my card base, then I can add our little girl here, and she's holding a lovely little bird, and I colored it like a little blue bird. So I put some foam adhesive on the back of our girl here, <clears throat> and then I'm going to place her towards the bottom left. There we go. Once I place her down, then I'll add our sentiment, which also is popped up with some foam adhesive. So I'm going to remove the backing off of that. And I got a little ink smudge or something on my little sentiment strip here. So I'm going to use my mono sand eraser to remove that. I don't know what exactly I got on there. Probably because my fingers are quite inky. So. All right, so I'm going to add here that to the top right hand corner. Make sure it's straight. And basically your card is finished. You can leave it like this, but I'm going to bring in some uh, crystal enamel dots that I have from my stash. Now I've had these for a little while, so I'm going to add a little liquid adhesive behind them just in case, especially when it comes to the embossed section of our card. Here on the sentiment, I think it'll stay because it's a smooth surface, but with it being embossed down here and inked, I'm worried that it, they won't stick. Being like I said, I've had them in my stash for a little while now. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little drop of adhesive right here on the bottom left hand corner and then a little bit towards near the bird to add our last little one. And I just put three embellishments on this card, nothing too much. I wanted to keep the focus mostly on this little girl and her little bird. And once I add this, our card will be complete. So this was a pretty easy card. Um, I like to stamp my images and color them and have them on hand. So that's what I did with this one. Although I kept my coloring pretty simple. So, and I will have all the Copic colors I used um, in the description box below, along with all the other uh, supplies. Speaking of supplies, let's go over what I used. I used a Scrapberry stain ink in blue and green for our background. Our favorite from the fairy tale collection from Scrapberry, the Make a Wish stamp set. We used the Lovely Girl and the Make a Wish Sentiment. And from Kaiser Crafts, the wood grain embossing folder. So, like always, I'll have everything in the description box below. Before, be sure to stop by the White Rose Crafts shop to pick up some uh, ink bundles that she has going on right now. And there's still some bundles left on some other stamp sets. Thank you for being here, and I hope you found some inspiration.